I'm making this video because a good friend of mine, Brunson Blood, made a video praising Channel Fireball. I don't like Channel Fireball. They are charging $250 for a box of Tales of Aria 1st Edition. Fuck that. Fuck you if you think that's a good price. Monarch came out a t during a time where it was a forced print run for 1st Edition. It was a one at a time thing, and now the fact that we have another printing manufacturer, there's no reason why a box should be $250. There's no shortage. We don't know when Unlim's properly coming. Like, it hasn't properly been announced. Why are they charging $250 a box for Flesh and Blood? Why is this an issue? Well, if you want to get new players into the card game, you don't tell them to buy $250 for a box. That is ridiculous. I don't get this whole mentality of, oh, boxes need to be expensive, and then if they're expensive, people will buy the game. No, 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 no. If the game is good, people will play the game. But if you want more players to play the game, charge less for your boxes. But why is this a big issue? The big issue is that the main culprit is the people who are running Flesh and Blood America. Channel Fireball. Channel Fireball. $250 a box in America for the biggest place is ridiculous. If they were charging, let's say, $150, everyone else in America wouldn't have to be forced to charge the same kind of pricing. Let's look at Australia as well. Because of this whole mentality of charging this much for a box, it has adopted to us as well. We have places charging $200 for a box, $220 for a box. I think the most expensive I've seen in Australia is $220. And anyone who charges more than $150 for a box, fuck you. You're just following the same mind pattern. And this all stems, in my opinion, from Channel Fireball. They are the biggest people running Flesh and Blood. They just had a calling. $250 for a box is ridiculous. I don't get it. You want more people playing your card game? You want more people in your store? You want more people buying boxes? Charge less. Charge less. It's not like Monarch. There is plenty of products coming out this set. Plenty. The only reason why you have all these places sold out is because this is the allocated amount that they've been given for their first run. First run. We're going to get more runs of first edition. Hopefully. But we haven't got a, 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 a logistic idea of when Unlim's coming out. I don't get it. Channel Fireball, fuck you. I don't want you to ruin the economy of this game. I don't want you to ruin the idea that players can't play this game because they charge too much. It's a whole ladder effect, a domino effect I mean. You have uh, Channel Fireball charging $250 for a box. Then you have other places being forced being be able to charge that much pricing. But if someone else charges that low, like a lower than that price, it gets bought out immediately and then put back up online for a higher price. I don't get it. Why, why, do you, why do they need to charge this much? Why? It's, it's a whole domino ladder effect. If you want more plays in the game, charge less. If you want more money, charge less. Like, the amount of stores that I know that have still got, like, pre-orders available is ridiculous because they have to charge $200 if not it gets bought out instantly now I know this is their way of doing things and if everyone else did it as well but Channel Fireball is the main culprit they're the main culprit they're the ones who made the idea of charging this much why? just fucking lower your price like I'm not paying more than $150 for a box screw that screw that like, oh, you know, I guess I just won't be able to play the game then. No. If the big people who run the game charge less for a box, which is, you know, it, it's fine. It's fine to say that. Fuck you if you think that I'm wrong about that. Just charge less. I want more players. I want more people in my area.
But, like, for local communities, like, let's say out in Penrith, where I think we have, like, max 10 players, we're not going to get more players than that. We just aren't going to. Like, if you want more players, then charge less for your boxes. Anyways, this is a quick rant. Peace.